This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. Top man of the state slams the election commission's poll date arrangement. According to sources, he's called it a hasty decision. Sources say the Congress and the DMK will finalize their seat sharing numbers tonight. Gulab Nabi Azad has landed on the third round of talks. It's a problem of plenty, it seems. Even as the election commission claims 99% of the state has voter IDs, multiple cards are issued. Stop distribution of DMK government's free color televisions immediately. The election commission warns district collectors. After joining Amma's team for the polls, Captain hits out on the DMK for corruption, says his first duty is to drive out the DMK. An eight-year-old girl is allegedly raped and murdered in Coimbatore City. Police arrest one man. And the Revenue Intelligence gets hold of 33 kilograms of the party drug ketamine worth 3 crore rupees, two smugglers in custody. Welcome to the news tonight with me, Evelyn Matthew. A look at the other big stories tonight before we get you those stories in detail. Libyan leader Gaddafi tries to calm tempers. He blames Al-Qaeda sleeper cells for the unrest in the country. Huge explosions are reported in Tripoli as the US repositions its warships in preparation for a possible emergency. After Salman Taseer, Pakistan's only Christian cabinet minister, Shahbaz Bhatti, is assassinated for opposing blasphemy laws. NDTV reports from inside Libya, an exclusive uh, ground report from the east of the country where loyalists are now advancing. And read the rules carefully before you challenge umpire decisions, the ICC tells Dhoni. Well, a day after the election commission's poll date announcement, Mr. Karunanidhi is now upset, objecting to the election schedule set by S.Y. Qureshi. The chief minister now calls it a rather hasty announcement that did not count his view at all. Even though the heated polls of an early summer elections is 42 days away, the chief minister is already sweating. He's in fact said in the DNK mouthpiece, Murasoli, that the gap of a month between voting and counting was inexplicable and allowed just three days for the formation of the new government. Earlier today, the BJP and the left had also slammed the poll date arrangement as it coincided with exams in the state as well as the Tamil New Year celebrations held around this time, thus impeding upon the festivities in the state. Karananidhi has now questioned the rationale behind the poll panel's action. He added that the schedule uh, gives political parties just 17 days for campaigning. Our senior editor Radhika Ayer joined us with more details from the statement and the DMK party's mouthpiece. Here's what she had to say. I have been speaking to senior journalists who have been covering uh, the election commission as a beat itself for several years now. It will be historic indeed if the election commission would actually uh, uh, would actually uh, uh, consider or reconsider or perhaps even change the dates of uh, polling. However, with the chief minister saying that the state was not consulted on the dates uh, and wanted to know the rationale behind the poll action clearly means that the chief minister has decided to aggressively question uh, the decision of uh, the election commission. We are yet to know from sources. We have been uh, asking them for more clarity and they are to get back to us about whether the DMK uh, and of course the chief minister in his capacity as the chief of the state will actually file a formal complaint against uh, or uh, uh, file a formal petition questioning uh, the EC's decision but it will be historic really even if it is uh, reconsidered but for now the election commission uh, what we hear from uh, New Delhi is that they are very, very firm to make sure that Kerala, Tamil Nadu and uh, Puducherry will go to polls on the same day which is the 13th of April. Well, clearly preparedness is going to be a factor that uh, all of the politicians in the state are going to be spending sleepless nights thinking about. Tonight, more than anything else, could spell heaven and hell at the DMK headquarters as uh, Gulab Nabi Azad is already in the city and is on his way to uh, the headquarters. In fact, he's expected to also speak to the press persons anytime soon. The All India Congress General Secretary and the Tamil Nadu in charge will be sitting in with his southern ally, the DMK, for the third round of talks, which now look like the last and final round. It becomes even more imperative now for the alliance partners to decide on the crucial arithmetic between the two. 
Well, Peer Mohammad the senior correspondent, is at the DMK headquarters right now. He joins us over the phone line with more updates. Uh, Peer, uh, you are there. What's the mood over there like? Has he arrived there for the talks already? Uh, he is just, uh, Mr. Gulam Nabi Awsad is just arriving at Anna Arivalayam for the talks and he will be received in a while by the DMK leadership. And the talks are uh, in all likelihood conclude today because uh, the poll dates are already announced. And the DMK chief also had made it clear in his uh, letter to the party corner that in the next few days all the alliance uh, talks will be finalized uh, uh, particularly because of the last time it was a very bitter encounter between the poll committee of the Congress and the DMK leadership on February 25th, Friday, when the poll committee came to Anna Arivalayam. They could not uh, uh, decide on it because the Congress was demanding share in power and also about 90 seats. That is the reason the talks could not conclude on that day. That is the reason... The DMK leadership told the poll committee that we would talk directly to Delhi. That is why Gulan Abhi Asad is coming today, uh, a day after the poll dates are announced. So now that they will uh, conclude the talks tonight itself and sign the deal, because Gulan Abhi Asad is also leaving early morning tomorrow to Delhi. Right, it really looks like uh, Mr. Karananidhi is under a lot of pressure with even now uh, the poll dates uh, not being too comfortable for him and his party. Uh, even now that declaration made by the election commission about uh, not distributing any more uh, free colour television sets. Uh, is he already there at the headquarters? Uh, uh, what's the sense you're getting? Uh, yes, uh, the DMK leader uh, Karananidhi has been here at uh, the uh, headquarters since the evening, because he has been uh, having deliberations with the poll committee of the DMK, which includes Deputy Chief Minister Stalin and other leaders like Arkad Virasamy, Durey Murugan, uh, and others. Uh, they have been all along discussing how much they can uh, cede to the Congress. Uh, they had already uh, decided, and they may have also communicated the same to the Congress the High Command, because uh, Gulan Abhi Asad is now accompanied by the uh, Tamil Nadu Congress Chief uh, Tangabalu, uh, who is uh, uh, reportedly very close to the DMK leadership. The, the communication may have al already happened. Uh, the only thing uh, remaining is uh, to sign the deal and uh, we, we can expect that to happen tonight. Right. Uh, thanks very much indeed, Pete, for joining us with your updates there from the DMK headquarters. We'll obviously keep coming back to you. If there is uh, an official announcement there, like you've been telling us, that's the only thing that's left, perhaps. Uh, pretty much of the talk uh, being done among the top leaders of uh, the state's parties. Clearly, there's no escaping the pressure now. The DMK will have to settle on the numbers, settle for the poll dates even, and play by the rules of the Election Commission as the body today cracked the whip on the DMK government, directing it to stop its flagship free colour television programme. Sam Daniel reports. The DMK's flagship scheme to distribute free colour televisions now on hold. One of the poll promises that brought the DMK to power in the assembly elections in 2006 stopped after election dates in Tamil Nadu were announced. The Karunanidhi government has already spent rupees 4,000 crores to give away 1.62 crore color television sets. But with polls less than a month away, 8 lakh sets are yet to be distributed. Although it's an ongoing old program, the election commission says this scheme cannot be allowed as it will influence new beneficiaries. People will be very particular that DMK government should come back to power, then only they can receive these welfare measures. For this announcement, I am really very thankful to the Election Commission for this. It's not just colour TVs. The ruling DMK has taken freebies to an unprecedented level. Three lakh concrete houses for those in huts are 2,250 crore rupees. Free medical insurance for one crore families at 500 crore rupees every year, 8 lakh LPG stoves at 160 crore rupees and a two-acre plot for landless farmers. So, no more colour TVs for now. But with the DMK gunning for a second term and AIADMK Chief Jai Lalita determined to wrest power, Tamil Nadu seems all set for an all-new soap opera. In Chennai with camera person Sukumar, Sam Daniel.
Now, an eight-year-old uh, schoolgirl has been allegedly raped and murdered in Coimbatore city. One person has been arrested so far. Remember, this was the same city from where the news of the double murder of the siblings came in that uh, sent the entire state into a shock. In fact, senior correspondent with NDTP 24-7, Sam Daniel, now joins us over the phone line with more inputs. Sam, what more can you add to this? Who is this person who's been taken into custody? Manolin, according to the police, the accused is actually a relative and also a neighbor of this particular victim. This has happened the day before yesterday when the father of this particular girl had sent her to a nearby shop to buy a pack of cigarettes. On her way back, this particular man had allegedly abducted her, raped her and also burnt her body. The body was uh, traced last night and police, after medical examination, have now confirmed that the girl has been sexually assaulted. They've arrested this particular man. More shocking is the fact that now police say this man is also involved in another rape and murder of a college girl in the Uttangari part of Tamil Nadu. So they have arrested under four weeks on. Right. Uh, Sam, are, is the police also ruling out the involvement of others in this murder? Is that probe still on? Evelyn, will you repeat, please? Is the police ruling out the involvement of other people other than this person who is already taken into custody in this murder? Uh, is what that we gather from the police now, it's this particular uh, man, a 20-year-old boy who has been arrested, a man who has been arrested. He is a relative, calm, a neighbor, but as of now it appears that he's the only one who has uh, was allegedly uh, done this crime against the girl. Thanks very much indeed, Sam, for joining us with uh, those inputs. So that person really known to the victim uh, who's been raped and then murdered, allegedly. Still ahead on the bulletin, meet the glee club of the Madras School of Economics. Pranam Babu's generous allocation allows for bigger plans for this premier institute.